Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another whiskey review on the Max Cigars and Whiskey channel. Now, in this review, I'm going to be taking you through an English whiskey company release. It's their newest release they've done, and it is a Sherry Butts release. Now, this is the first ever time St. George's Distillery, or the English whiskey company as I now know, has released a Sherry Butts whiskey. Unfortunately, I don't have a full size bottle here, so I can't show you the aesthetics of the bottle. I'll put that on the cover photo so you'll be able to see it and have a look at it and the thumbnail before you come in here. I'm a member of the English Whiskey Company's Members Club. Every two months, I receive a 20 centiliter bottle of whatever they are going to release. It's fairly close to you receiving these bottles. Sometimes you do get members only exclusives as well. But in February, I, really, I received the Sherry Butts and a week or so later, they released it to the general public. Now, this is a 46 percenter and it is retailing at 65 pounds for 70 centiliters. So that's not a bad price really. It's a small batch release, an exclusive small batch, which is what the English Whiskey Company are now doing. They've stopped doing all their chapters and the chapters have now changed into small batch releases. Um, I'll be bringing you some more from them soon because it's quite a close distillery to my home. I visited there with my missus. It's actually got a bit of a soft spot in my heart to be honest with you because it's the first distillery me and my missus visited together. So a lot of memories and a nice distillery to visit if you ever get the chance to. But enough of that, I digress. Let's jump into the whiskey itself. Now, 46%. No coloration, no chill filtration. The English Whiskey Company do not put any color and do not chill filter any of their whiskies. It's all as it comes. So look at the color of that. I'm not sure if you can see that because of how far I am back, but that is a stunning dark red. That really has taken on the sherry cask influence in the coloration of this. It is an absolute stunningly looking whiskey. Legs on it, viscosity. Not very viscous, they are running down quite freely. It is not very gloopy to be honest with you. There's not a lot of oiliness in there from the look of this, but you know, it's 46%. You can't always expect a 46% whiskey to be oily, viscous, and gloopy. But all important uh, taste in nose and test. Let's go through this, let's see where it takes us. Now, let's take this on the nose. On the nose of this, there's just chocolate. Lots of chocolate in there. Slight bitter notes, so it could be like a dark chocolate that you smell like a Bourneville within there. Orange, there's honey coming through as well. And all the while underneath that, you've got fruity, malty Christmas cake going on. You just smell this, you can just imagine a nice, wet, moist Christmas cake full of sultanas, full of figs, full of nuts. There's a slight nuttiness in there as well. Soaked in sherry. That is what I'm getting from this. It is absolutely stunning on the nose. Beautiful. On the nose for this, when I first received it and I opened the bottle, I poured the first little tiny piece out and I smelt this and I was just, mm, it is very, very nice smelling. But let's take this on the mouth and let's see where it goes from there. taste from this there's a lot of brown sugar in there a heck of a lot of brown sugar lots of chocolate the bitter dark chocolate note does come through within this it goes very nice because there's also a very sweet orangey taste floating around in the back as well they contrast each other they don't fight they just slide across the tongue absolutely beautifully but on this there's also a lot of fudginess going on as well dark sugar brown sugar, a lot of fudgy, maybe chocolatey fudginess going on. It's delicious, it really, really is. And then the cakey Christmas cake taste on the smell that you could smell on the nose and also comes through on the mouth film. That's not at the front, that's the forefront, is the chocolate, the orange, etc. At the back, you've got the cakey Sultana's Christmas cake taste rolling through. Now the finish on this is very chocolatey. There's a slight nuttiness at the back of it. But you've also got a bit of oak that comes through on the back of this as well. It's beautiful, it's delicious, 
it is really nice. Does it need water? No. There's no harshness to it, there's no alcohol astringency coming through that's making me reel back. But I always like to add water to see if it makes any difference. I'm still going to add three drops, see if anything changes in this whatsoever. So let's see where we go with this now with the water. It's very strange on the nose with the water because the fruits have all but vanished. With the water on the nose, you now get a lot of chocolate cake, honey and caramels coming through. But like I say, the fruits have all but vanished. It's very, very strange. I'm not getting any of the Christmas multi cake coming through anymore. But it's still a very nice smelling whiskey. It seems to have just mellowed it out completely. But 46%. Like I say, it probably didn't need the water anyway, but let's take this on the mouth with the three drops and see where we go from there. What I will say with water on the taste, it brings a slight peppery note to it. That's the first thing I notice when I add water to this. You get a slight spiciness come through, slight spicy pepper, but with the water on the taste, there's lots of dark chocolate cake going on in there, a lot of dark chocolate cake you've still got the cakey taste in there the chocolates rob mixed in with it as well but you also then get a slight nuttiness at the back of that yes you have got a pinch of fruit going through it's not as prominent as it was without the water like i say yet again with the water the chocolate flavors are absolutely dominating and the finish with the water the fruitiness seems to come through more on the finish with the water you get a lot of toffee and a lot of honey and also the oak is rolling round still with the water, but it's at the very back. It's slightly more drying with water added as well, which is quite strange. It is quite strange. But like I say, 65 pounds from the English Whiskey Company. It's their first venture into sherry butts. They've done a brilliant job as per usual. I do like nearly all of their whiskies they've released. There's no issues or fan with them whatsoever. Marks out of 10 for this, it's a solid 8.5 out of 10, it really is. I like my sherry whiskies. this sherry butts ticks all the boxes for me. It's fruity, it's chocolatey. The flavours are all there with no added colouration and no chill filtration, you cannot go wrong. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, I'm going to leave that review there. You take care of yourselves, slancha, and I will see you in the next review.